My name is Claudia Gutierrez, and I graduated in 2015 from the School of Biomedical Engineering, Science, and Health Systems. Now I'm interviewing for residency for otolaryngology, head and neck surgery, more commonly known as ENT or ear, nose, and throat surgery. After Drexel, I went to medical school at Mayo Clinic Alex School of Medicine in Rochester, Minnesota. Going from Drexel to Mayo was in some ways an easy transition because I felt that Drexel really gave me the chance to be courageous and really flexible with my curriculum. And I went to Mayo because their curriculum is pretty unique too. They have what's called selectives, which are one to two week experiences between uh, scattered throughout your first and second year that lets you really explore different fields of medicine. And that reminded me a lot of the Drexel co-op system. And I thought that that was just such a great way to explore different specialties within medicine really early on, kind of like I had done when I was at Drexel. I really wanted a different college experience, and I knew I wanted to go to a city in general. Um, when I found that Drexel was really in the heart of Philadelphia, I thought this could be a really good fit for me. And then I learned about the co-op programs really just through kind of Googling top biomedical engineering programs, and I thought, what a unique educational system. When I was thinking about my majors before going into medicine, I do think that it's really important to pick something that you're going to enjoy and that you really love. At the end of the day, you can pick any major to go into medicine. And for me, I really wanted to understand technology and innovation and really how to have this creative aspect to viewing medicine, but also having the technical skills to back it up and really be able to have those conversations with engineers and scientists. So I felt like biomedical engineering was the best way to really prepare myself to build those technical skills and just really understand the potential that technology could play within the role of medicine. Coming into engineering, I actually had the idea of going to medical school kind of on the back burner. It was something that I had planned to do and what was so nice about coming to Drexel is that I felt like I was really able to explore the world of medicine in ways that I couldn't do anywhere else and I did that by doing both my bachelor's and master's in biomedical engineering but also really taking advantage of the co-op system so I got to work in industry for my first co-op for my second co-op I got to go abroad and work in research in Switzerland and then for my third co-op I got to work in venture capital and be on the health science investment team, which helped me understand if you do have an idea, how do you even bring that to market to then ultimately help patients. I did the Whitaker Scholarship when it was still available for undergraduate students. I ended up working in Dr. Shia, who's one of the faculty members here, and his former lab that he did his postdoc in. So it was great to have a Drexel connection already to Switzerland. And he ended up supporting me through that process. And I worked in the Laboratory for Cancer Bioengineering. I would say that, in general, I love that that lab was at the interface between engineering and immunology. And I wanted a medical school that had kind of access to those kind of resources. Um, once I decided to go to medical school, I knew that I wanted a school that had access to all the different specialties because I wanted to be in a facility that was multidisciplinary. I think a lot of people, they get really nervous applying to medical school and think I just want to rush through, I want to finish undergrad just so I can get to medical school and get there as soon as possible. But I think for me, Drexel was this opportunity to really explore so many fields and I had the chance to be an engineer, I had the chance to be a researcher, and I had the chance to even be an analyst at a venture capital firm through my co-ops. And I really love those experiences and those are experiences that I still talk about today even now, interviewing for residency. And so my advice would really be to enjoy what you're doing and to not be afraid to explore other fields. Just because I was really interested in engineering or really interested in finance or research doesn't mean that I'm not interested in medicine. I think it just made me more sure that I was interested in medicine and that there was many facets of medicine that I could contribute to.